What is going on, beautiful people? Corwin L. Gilliams here from CLG Lifestyle. Hope you guys are feeling blessed and grateful to be alive because guess what? Some people did not wake up this morning. We did, and I believe that is a great reason to find even the smallest opportunity to be grateful. If you've not already subscribed to the platform, go ahead and do so wherever you're gonna watch this video right now. That way you can stay connected to what it is that I do as a lifestyle influencer slash life coach slash podcaster slash your friend, your virtual friend, someone who genuinely desires for you to become the ve uh, best version of yourself and to take the paths that were uniquely made for you. I believe that our different experiences has caused us to have, you know, desires and interests that are unique and I do believe the infinite of abilities of God to create um, has allowed us to have freedom when it comes to the unique paths that, that we are to take to essentially become our best selves. So don't be afraid um, to discover what that is, to take time and, um, and intention, intentionality and focus to get the clarity you need um, to move forward in the direction that revolves around you becoming your best self. So CLG Lifestyle, if you're new to this platform, is all about influencing you to love self, love God who is love through your relationship or as a result of your relationship with God, you will um, discover your true self, your genuine self, and continuously, progressively grow in a revelation of who this person is. We live in a society where, again, unfortunately, we've not had the opportunity to really discover who we were or who we are. Um, from out the womb, we've been introduced and bombarded with information and perspectives and belief systems and mindsets and desires that were from other people, whether that was from your family, your community, or your neighborhood, um, generationally things that were passed down. And then of course we talk about media and we get into a whole nother realm of influence that if you are not aware of your ability to think for yourself um, and to choose and to make a decision as to what you want to welcome into your life or not, um, you're just living someone else's life ultimately. And so we, I'm here to help you break out of that. I'm here to help you um, again, discover your unique path, discover the portion that the love of God had predestined for you according to the word of God, and then be able to, you know, as a result of this, right, first it's making a decision, well first is the awareness, then it's making a decision based on the information that you've acquired as a result of the awareness or awakening, and then making that decision to self-actualize, as some in the industry would say, but I just say becoming your best self, your highest version of yourself. So that is what CLG Lifestyle is here to help you do on a micro level, but ultimately the bigger version is to have products and services and experiences in a digital space, but also brick and mortar. You know, we wanna bring people back out into the marketplace. You know, I know some of you love to be at home and, and to be away from people, but we were created to socialize, but not with just anybody. This is why getting to know who you are, getting to know your interests, your likes, and will help you and support you in making decisions that are rooted in love. Because if you're someone, let's say for example, you like volleyball, right? For whatever reasons, that's what you wanna be a part of. But you grew up around people who loved basketball or baseball or football, then it's, you know, it's kinda like, that's not necessarily you being you know different from them it's just you have an interest especially when it comes to sports right you have an interest that is a little different from what you're familiar with or what you grew up around and it's okay to step out of that group step out of that norm or that demographic or that culture subculture and move into a subculture or culture that more aligns with your desires and this is where peace and happiness and joy and fulfillment comes little things like that so don't ever take that for granted don't allow people's perception of you that is inaccurate to influence any decisions that you make that is robbing you of the joy and peace and satisfaction that comes with you doing what you love this is what life is about and as you grow in a value of self love for self you're gonna grow in the value of or should I say in the understanding of the value of making decisions that are 
right for you. It may seem selfish to others. It may seem like it doesn't make sense to others. But if it supports what you're doing, if it feeds your soul and it allows you to give back as a result of you being fed, then you are on onto something and continue doing that. So I talked about um, the path, right? Finding a path that is unique to you. So I'm in a season um, where for the past eight years, I've been on this spiritual journey. Um, it includes reinventing myself and discovering who God created me to be. Not the me, that society, culture, trauma, um, generational patterns of dysfunction, toxicity, good, bad, ugly. You know, I've been on this journey to discover my identity from a biblical perspective that God had preserved in Christ for me. Jeremiah 29 11 talks about the hopes, plans, and future that God has for believers. Uh, Jeremiah 1, the first chapter, talks about uh, God knows before the foundations of the world and has set us apart, right? So many of us did not notice. I didn't notice until I had my spiritual encounter in 2016. As I said, it's been eight years, it's been a journey. And so as a result of that awakening slash awareness slash rebirth, you know, my life and the trajectory of my life immediately changed. As the song says, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. God removed the scales from my eyes. Um, the enemy, as the word talks about, has had blinded the minds of unbelievers. So we were not able to see the truth about God and his plans and Christ. And so this regeneration, this born again experience has propelled me into a realm that has caused me to be um, intentional and unapologetic about my desires to not only please, um, to not only become the best version of myself, but to please my Heavenly Father who made a way for me to be delivered from oppression, mental oppression, spiritual oppression, emotional oppression, um, physical oppression, um, relational oppression. And so part of the journey again as to uh, discovering your true self, your true identity will require you foundationally and fundamentally to have an active relationship with God. God is the source. He is the original, the OG when it comes to all things amazing, wonderful. Um, he is strict justice. He is righteousness. He wants us to, ex uh, he is compassion, he's forgiveness, he's love, he's loyalty, he's mercy. He's all these good things that we've been desiring in this world, that we've been giving according to our understanding. But when we shine the true light of God and his spirit in our lives, and in our environment, we've seen that we've been falling short for a long time. And so this regeneration, this reactivation with God, who's given us a new heart, who's giving us or, ha or has given us a new heart and a new spirit, um, we're able to now see things clearly now that the rain is gone, now that the darkness and just the wool and the, and the scales that's been on our eyes that we couldn't see truth. As a result of us seeing truth now, right, truth according to the word, we're able to make decisions, right, that aligns with truth. As we, uh, in comparison to before, where we were just making decisions based on what we were told, we had no frame of reference as to, you know, what is the truth, you know, where is this information coming from, why do I like what I like, why am I into what I'm into, why am I pursuing this educational path, why am I in this career? You know, why is it that, you know, I, I want to obey my mother and my father when it comes to my profession, but something instinctively or intuitively is telling me uh, this is not the path that I should take, but I don't know what to do because I don't want to dishonor my parents. I love them. So all of this confusion is made very clear. Um, again, when you are reconnected to God who first made you, your first love, who made you in his image and likeness, who was so thoughtful enough to have carved out a path and a plan for you um, so that you can live a fulfilled life, so that at the end of your years you can feel accomplished, you can feel like, okay, you left this world empty, you haven't left anything underutilized, or you know what I'm saying, you've done what you were supposed to do when you, when you uh, as a result of the life that you've been given. So CLG Lifestyle entails all all of that and I'm on my journey myself I believe coaching is about learning and then teaching you learn and you teach you learn and you teach and that's basically what it is you don't have to have any type of license or any type of 
formal education to be a coach or a life coach you basically just teach based on what you've overcome and at the end of the day the fruit is going to speak for itself god is going to endorse you if you are genuinely wanting to help and encourage people god will see that and he will you know increase you and endorse you and support you and provide you the resources you need to elevate to expand and to increase your influence and the awareness of your brand and what you're doing for the enhancement and advancement of humanity so on this journey you know what i'm saying i talked about being more transparent or more in depth about you know what it is that i've been doing as far as my reinvention as far as what i've been pursuing and so i'm going to be taking you guys behind the scenes more you know talking a little bit more about my journey my re my um my uh, readmittance into higher learning and what it is that I, I'll be pursuing, the educational path that I'm taking, the profession that I'll be um, being a part of and how God is um, using my gifts and my talents and things that I forgot about from childhood that he has restored as a result of regeneration. And um, just even selecting the schools, you know, selecting the degree program, selecting the location, where is it that I want to live, etc., etc. So God is in the details, and the Word talks about um, involving God in the plans, in all of your plans, in every detail of your life. And people take that for granted. But once you begin to do that, you're going to see how much rest you have. And, and I believe this is one of the promises of God, right? Rest. The rest that you will have when you put things in God's hands and you surrender to his way of doing things because it's already worked out for you so we're going to be um, I'm going to be doing more you know content on my journey my high learning journey there's a big exam if staying granted that, that I'm staying on a path that I'm supposed to be on there's an exam that I need to take uh, next year God willing to be able to seamlessly get into the next phase um, of the higher learning journey and um, yeah on top of that establishing two businesses then working within the mental health industry um then have, you know relationships you know mental health all of that stuff so yeah so we're gonna you know it's, it's gonna be a good time and the goal again is to inspire it's to encourage it's to let you know that you have the ability to create the life that you want it's a reason you've been feeling restless, you've been feeling worn out, drained, um, burnt out, feeling like you've been giving and giving and you're getting nothing in return. There's a reason for that. Um, it's time for you to be still. It's time for you to look within. It's time for you to answer the call. Um, it's time for you to love self because the more you grow in the revelation of God who is love, and his love for you and his purposes and plans for your life the more you're going to begin to say you know what i think i want what god has for me because there's no one who can dream a bigger dream for me than god and i'm going to do what it takes to see through the lens of god and, and trust and believe and have faith and do whatever steps i need to take you know what i'm saying to make manifest these promises so if this is something that interests you, then you are where you need to be. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll leave my contact information and resources on how you can support this journey. And yeah, it's been a pleasure, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day today. I may do another video later on, but um, yeah, stay connected, and you will know. Don't forget to put on your notifications. All right, CLG Lifestyle. I am Coronel Gilliams. Talk to you guys later.